Hello and welcome to another Indie Sunday. Today we're going to be playing Cloud Climber. The game itself is relatively short, very atmospheric, so I probably won't be talking too much during it. And well, it's, it's basically a walking simulator if you're familiar with the term. But I think for a, for a game that, uh, as far as I've looked it up, about 20 minutes long, uh, that should be fine. So let's go. Another day has arrived. I'd best get my water before going to work. Yeah, the design is quite neat in my opinion, and just from that, those two lines alone, the voice acting is pretty good. What do I have here? Stan Diary PG 1489. I may need to get to the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. Take the key. The chest key. Ah, there's our water. Okay. Let's get outside. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. So, I think it is safe to assume that we are one such builder who is doing his job here. And we have to find a way over to this tower. Check out what's here. Bernie the Great and Terrible Diary, page 69. For months we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Signed, Bernie the Great and Terrible. Okay. Let's take a look down. Yep. That's certainly the clouds. What else do we have up here? More rooms, I suppose. Can I enter the door? Certainly. But there is nothing in here. Oh, there's a piece of paper. Joey Diary, page 420. I've been building all day long and Bernie, the great and terrible, has been sitting on his butt acting as foreman, aka he doesn't do any work and drinks all our water. I've started locking my water chest just in case, he really does think he's above us all. Okay, so I'm assuming, well given that these are all diaries, I'm assuming one page equates to one day, obviously not. Not 100%, but in general, that's probably a relatively good equation. Or at least, maybe not in the sense that it's uh, it's generally one-to-one, -one, but more so that, well, the longer your diary is, the longer you've probably been working here. Oh, there's another key. Bridge door key, and there's a hammer here that I cannot take. Out of curiosity, can I fall down here? No. Okay. That's fine. Can I walk up here? Also no. Uh, there's a bridge... Uh, so zoom. The one down there was the bridge, right. Can I run? No. Well, <laughs> I guess it is a walking simulator after all. Of course I can't run. There we go. Bridge door key used. There's a mattress here. <laughs> a smiley. Edna Diary, page 36. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer and now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. A hundred years ago they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we had seen this coming. Alright, it's 
been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. You can see in the distance there's quite a few other towers. Kyle, diary, page 45. I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they stole the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from one of the neighboring towers. Well, it looks like that didn't turn out particularly great. Just out of curiosity, can we go? No, we can't go down. Okay. Then let's go up instead. The game is, after all, called Cloud Climber. Bertha Diary, page 9825. Dear Diary, wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now, after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time, since we've just started rationing our supplies more, but I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but Grandfather always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles, instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it will rain someday, we just need to survive until then. Okay, so no rain. Is this locked? No. There's a chest here that I cannot open. Oops. That opens the other way. And so we climb further. One staircase at a time. They installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. Hmm. I should be able to use it to get across. Well, we certainly will. But before that... Kyle Diary, page 46. I tried to be reasonable, I tried to talk with them, but those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1 don't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground, drying up like a raisin while other people watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I need so I can last long enough to watch everyone else die. Hmm. I mean, I understand where he's coming from. What is this? Probably not something I can take either. Anything up here other than a nice view? Doesn't look like it. There's three tower. No, there's two towers over this way. There's a third one. All right. Well, I uh, still need to go one, one more staircase down. Let's see. Come here. Oh. I could almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. I agree. I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. Yeah, we should be able to. Hadang Diary, page 1. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of building supplies, and Carl just won't get along with me. At least five times a day he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear if I do fall someday it'll be his fault. Hmm, that's something I've not thought about yet. It does seem quite dangerous to work here. Joey Diary, page 556. Yesterday, Hadang fell off the tower. I don't know how it happened, but it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon since we've almost emptied out the other chests. Hmm. God damn it, Carl. Wait, you can go down here? No, just a bit. Not this way either. Well then, up we go. Kyle, 
Carl, diary, page 57. I just can't get over it. Hadan gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old and I can tell Hadan loves it. Yeah. I feel like this is how a lot of bullying goes. Well, maybe not a lot, but uh, quite a decent amount. That the person who's doing the bullying is not even aware of what they're doing being wrong. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. Hmm. I just jump over it. It's fine. Alright, how do I fix the bridge, though? There's some here. Stack of planks. Okay. Stack of planks was used. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. True. What would be the point of building these massive towers? A note of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked up when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have further to go. We will climb the clouds. The sun of Sulcher. Okay, so take it. This kind of dust storm phenomenon took over Earth, basically made inhabiting the ground impossible and led to people building towers and just getting all the water they can with them and you know building towards the clouds in the hope of gathering up any sort of remaining water that might be found in there to no avail as it looks dewey diary page 490 this evening kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the great ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringi cringiest speech I've he ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him Son of Sulchar. So it was Kevin who did that. I really wish now I could remember our character's name. Okay, can't get in there. But, alas, I can't. So I'll just look it up in the recording afterwards. Uh, but we're almost at the top. Oh, there's a chest back there. Can I reach it? That doesn't appear so. No. Nope. Oh, I need a stack of planks. Well, <clears throat> let's go then. Build all of the planks. This really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we'd spent our lives building. We only looked up to the clouds, hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. It's 
so it started to rain right at the end. But as the only person remaining alive, well, it'll just prolong his life for a couple of months maybe, at most. If he can get the chests out or the buckets out in time before the rain stops. But yeah, that was Cloud Climber. Thank you for watching this week's Indie Sunday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.